Hi everyone, Rukshan here and thanks for joining me for this video. Today I got a special guest to join me in to react on the recent news of Donald Trump Jr.'s visa uh, slow walk by the Australian Labor government. That's what's being alleged and I think we might have some more evidence of the funny uh, things which are going on with the Australian Labor government with these comments from Claire O'Neill MP. But to help decipher what's going on here, I've got Senator Ralph Babette from the United Australia Party. Senator, thanks for joining in. G'day, Rukshan. Great to be on your show, my friend. Love watching your new show on YouTube, by the way. So congratulations. If anyone out there is not following the real Rukshan, get onto YouTube, click follow, follow him on Twitter, follow him on, on uh, Instagram. One of the uh, best commenters out there when it comes to uh, political, anything to do with uh, politics at all. Rukshan, thank you so much, sir. Thanks, Senator. So tell me, Senator Babbitt, what's going on with the uh, Donald Trump Jr. tour and this visa saga? We're hearing all sorts of different stories. What, what's, what's going on? What do you make of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, uh, to break it down for your listeners that may not be aware of what was happening, Donald Trump Jr. was set to uh, appear in Australia for a series of shows across the East Coast where he was, where he was essentially going to be giving a speaking tour. So basically, he put in his visa application for a visa called the Subclass 408, that's what it's called, uh, back in May. Now, that type of visa, it takes about 20, oh, it's the guideline state that it should take a maximum of 21 days for you to receive an answer, either a yes or a no. This is the same visa that, as an example, like a Taylor Swift would get when she was coming here to perform in Australia. Pretty st standard stuff. He applied in May. They did not approve him. They dragged their feet. They dragged their feet until yesterday yesterday and he was due to speak i believe it was uh next weekend so because they took so long to approve his visa way more than the 21 days in which they required to approve it in uh he was unable to uh, organize his flights and things like that to get here on time so what's happened there the australian government is very was was very very clearly dragging their feet to ensure, in my opinion anyway, that Donald Trump Jr. was unable to speak uh, at his shows here in Australia. What does that say about the Labor Party? Now, don't tell me that, oh, you know, his forms got lost in the mail or something like that. Absolutely ridiculous because they didn't. This is, after all, the president's son. And then you've got uh, Linda Burney uh, at the press club a few days ago, I believe, uh, saying things like, oh, don't bring Trump-style politics in Australia. We don't want that here. Essentially saying that Trump is a liar. Uh, and you know what? It just goes to show this Labor government, they're out of control. Well, do you, yeah, that's what I was going to say. This, it seems like this Labor government's got a bit of Trump derangement syndrome, uh, oh, yeah. which is funny to watch. And more evidence of that was earlier today when Claire O'Neill, uh, the Home Affairs Minister, I believe, shared a, a tweet which she has since deleted. But I'm just going to read your tweet, read this tweet to you, just your reaction. Yes, mate. When when I someone called me and said, "Did you see what she what she uh, tweeted?" and I thought it was a joke. I thought there is no way this is real. There is no way. I thought, you know what, someone's photoshopped something, and that's what it was. But it turns out maybe it's real. Let's hear it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's let's read the tweet. Claire O'Neill writes, "Geez, Donald Trump Jr. is a bit of a sore loser. His dad lost an election fair and square, but he but he says it was stolen." Now he's trying to blame the Australian government for his poor ticket sales and the cancelled tour. Donald Trump Jr. has been given a visa to come to Australia. He didn't get cancelled. He's just a big baby who isn't very popular. Wow. Yeah, I, mean, thought... I, think, I think a lot of people thought it was a joke. I mean, it is kind of funny that uh, this is being said, but there's a serious aspect of this, isn't there? Because this is the Home yeah, Affairs yeah. Minister. This is an official yeah. government representative of the Australian yeah. government. Um, Go yeah. A, look, a cabinet minister, Rukshan, a cabinet uh, uh, minister is basically going out there and saying to the president's, well, the, the 45th president's son, calling him a, calling him a, a, basically a baby and a loser, the president's son, right? The 45th president of our biggest trading partner, ridiculous, potentially the 47th president. What happens if Donald Trump... Trump wins the election in 2024. What happens then? Our our Home Affairs Minister, Claire O'Neill, is on record of calling him a baby, uh, uh, calling him a sore loser. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. This has massive implications for us as a country with our biggest trading partner. Look, it's not appropriate 
for a minister to be saying things like this at all. And the fact that she said this really casts a light into what was happening with his visa approval. This, to me, um, is all the evidence that I need to see that they were playing funny buggers, that they were dragging their feet with Donald Trump's approval for his visa. I mean, what more do you need? It's not appropriate. I, know, I hope Claire O'Neill apologises to uh, both President Trump and his son as well, because, uh, you know, in my book, too much, too much. Yeah, look, I mean, definitely the fact that she deleted it uh, rings all sorts of alarm bells. <laughs> like, if you're going to put something like this up as a politician, you should stick by what you put up, mm. right? Uh, there is an element of, uh, I guess, embarrassment or someone's higher up has told her. Maybe Albo's told her to take it down. Who knows? Uh, there is a bit of uh, it calls into her judgment, doesn't it? I wouldn't be judgment there. If, if, if the Prime Minister got, got on the phone, you know, he was probably uh, scrolling through his feed and, he's, and he, he just thought, oh, my God, what is this? On the phone, hey, uh, Minister O'Neill, what did you put up there? Get that <laughs> off right now. Delete that right now. Look, it's, look, it's, it's a little bit funny. And you know, it would be it would be uh, more funny if it wasn't so serious. If mm. uh, you know, if 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 she wasn't going after the president's son and potentially the forty seventh president of the United States. I mean, that, yeah, I, the, cir- the circumstances are definitely funny. Do you think a uh, Greta Thunberg uh, would have got a visa approved straight away, or would have had taken more than a month for Greta Thunberg? It would have been approved immediately. She probably, she's probably already has a visa. Like she's got like a gold status visa for Australia. Anytime she wants to come. I'm straight in. And you know who else would have got a visa approved straight away? Hunter who? Biden. Hunter Biden, if he came here, do you think he'd have the same issues? No, he wouldn't. Because it seems to me that this Labour government has a real problem with conservative thinkers and conservative speakers. That's who That's who keeps getting... Um, keeps getting, uh, having their, their uh, paperwork lost in a drawer somewhere. It, it, you know, it happened with uh, Dr. Peter McCulloch as well when the United Australia Party was attempting to bring Peter McCulloch into Australia to speak at a series of COVID conferences. Uh, his paperwork magically also got lost on someone's desk. So uh, this, is, this seems to be now like a pattern of behaviour. I mean, when the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, was up on was was on the campaign trail ahead of the previous election he said is what he said he said and i'm going to paraphrase that he would be bringing in a kinder a gentler style of uh, politics but it seems to me like he hasn't stuck to that at all he's pulling out every dirty trick in the book and if he's not doing it uh, himself his bureaucrats and his ministers are and he needs to reel them in that's what he needs to do well there you go senator babette from the united australia party thank you so much and hopefully we can have you back on the show very soon because I think we need to chat about the uh, other piece of legislation or bill that the Labor Party is considering, the ACMA misinformation, disinformation yes. bill, which is a threat to our uh, rights online and on the internet. So I'll have you on soon to have a chat about that. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Keep up the great work, mate. You are amazing. We need more people like you out there. You are doing God's work, my friend. Bye-bye.